Before this video starts, I'd like to ask y'all for some help. Uh, if you would like to, can y'all please like go check out my gaming channel I stopped a while back. I've been trying to grow it, trying to make it like uh, get to a point where it's at, or close to my main channel, at least not like up to win like subscribers and view counts and stuff like that. Right now, I'm playing games like Doom, Star Wars, The Sims, and eventually Last of Us when it comes out. So if you're interested in like uh, let's play videos. And you want some pretty funny moments and like uh, just someone to like play, someone to uh, watch play the game. I won't disappoint. Just check the link. I'll leave it up in the cards below in the description down below to make be sure to check out and also subscribe if you enjoy what you see. That's all I have to say. Thank you for thank you for tuning in and let's get right to the video. Hey y'all, it's Trey Dynasty. Like to say, welcome back. Today we're gonna be doing another reaction to another artist. And in, in case y'all didn't know, I did a video on Tokyo's Revenge a week ago, and now we're gonna do another artist I've been trying, I've been looking forward to like go uh, listening to for like the past while. The Kid Lil Lil, Lil, Lil Roy. I don't know if I said it right, but yeah, I was originally gonna do a little Mosey, but like. He already, he like, uh, the Kid Lloyd he already, already came out with a song recently. So it, it just seems like this is a better time to like just listen to someone who just came out with something. So, and without further ado, let's get right into it. I know a little about him. He's like more of those like melodic rappers, you know? You know what I mean? So, let's start with the first song, Let Her Go. The guitar is interesting. Okay. Okay, that was a good start right there. He has a unique voice. Like, his singing and stuff like that is unique. I like the guitar and the beat. And the beat just overall is kind of slow. You know, talking about how like uh, this, I guess this, this girl's been doing well for him, and she's not, he's not gonna let her go and stuff like that. And he's talking about like, R.I.P. to ones he lost, running out this money, doesn't care what anybody else says, and yeah, just think about all that other stuff. In case y'all hear something, I had the window open, so yeah. Also, like I liked how like uh, like uh, in like the hook, how he like he like those high notes, how he had kind of like the shakiness in the voice is. That that was a hit too. Like that sounded really good. So overall, good start. Certified thumbs up. I'll give it that. That's good. That's good. We start off good. We start off good. Next song is Diva featuring Lil Tecca. I heard the hook to this song, like the first little bit of the hook to this song, and, and I thought it was really good. So I'm kind of looking forward to this song. My life is a movie directed by Tarantino. We know. I'm not feeling little techno. I don't want to leave. I'm not feeling little techno. I'm not feeling little techno. Hold on, this girl on this music video tried to stab the car with a screwdriver. Like, try to key it with a screwdriver. That's funny. It's another thing. This monster truck has shown up, has shown, up, shown up so many times. Like, what's the point of it? Okay, that song was okay. That song was pretty cool. I liked uh, the Kid Lloyd's like hook and stuff like that. I liked how his little part in the second verse, Lil Tecca. I honestly wasn't really feeling him like that. Like I just feel like he was kind of like his delivery and stuff was kind of too dead in my opinion. I kind of understand why they did a song together because like you know they were both popular. Like they're both like were kind of popping then. Like like a little Kid Lloyd and like Lil Tecca song. I also forgot the name of the song, but he could have done without Lil Tecca, in my opinion. But overall, it's a decent song, though. I'd probably go back for it for the Kid Lloyd's part. I still can't say his name. I still My tongue gets twisted every time I say his name. Next song we're going to listen to is one that he dropped like a couple months back. And it's called, it's called Too Much. Oh, I can't catch a break. Thinking about you. I look at it in you. Why you at the brand new phone? And I'm in need of your love to you. I'm running back to you. Oh, that would sound nice if you put a drop right there. Like a little bass drop. Oh, that would sound good. But memories live forever for the worse or for the better. Okay, that sounds like a bit to go on me, but it's still like him just talking about like heartbreak. Like uh he was with this girl, relationship didn't really go so well, and now like he she's gone and stuff like that, and now I guess he's just reminiscing about like the times how it's like hitting him and stuff like that. Which honestly like it's it's cool to listen to like heartbreak songs every once in a while, especially like, if you're like, in your feelings, you know. 
Like, uh, I know, like, I tend to listen to songs like this, so... Yeah, I thought it was pretty nice. Like, you can could, you could hear, like, the pain in his in his voice. I'll give him points for that. But I, the one thing I still, like, would help this song is, like, at one point, he put, like, a little bass drop. It's still a good song, though. I'll give it that. Next song is Stay Away featuring Lil TJ. I've been kind of getting to Lil TJ a little bit. Not all the way, but a little bit. There's still some songs I like. But anyways, let's just get right into it. Remember jumping on that block, that shit was day to day. Half of my bros on the rock was 20 and I ain't never gonna stop. I was young and smoking, no percent of face and fade away. Remember jumping the way that this shit used to be. Fucking okay. famous holding cannot say that I didn't try to make Ooh. it. Like okay. That was a pretty good song too. I, I like Lil TJ's hook. His verse is okay, like the stuff he was talking about, stuff like that. But like, I don't know, I just didn't like, didn't really care for the sound of it. But then like, when that hook, when that second part of the hook came in, pretty good. And then when it, when, I'm just calling him the kid. When the kid's verse came up, I thought it did, it was really well too. And honestly, like stuff that they were talking about, just like, you know, it's real. It's like people, now like, it's kind of hard nowadays to find people who, who to trust and like people who got to stick will buy you. For the long run, because like people say something, and then like a few, like a month or so, like like a couple months later, they'll just act like they'll just act like brand new and just not really want you want really want to be cool with them anymore. They want really want to be cool with you. So once again, it kind of sucks that like how the life it like, that's just the way life is nowadays. And yeah, it's just hard to find people to trust. I don't know why I keep moving my shoulder like this, but. Here I am. But overall, I thought that was a nice song, too. I think I like the Kill the Wars part better in this song. I feel like so far, all the songs he's been featured on, that I just liked his part the best. That was pretty cool, and I'd probably go back to it. Yeah, I'll give it a certified thumbs up. I don't, I'll say that song, let her go. i give that a certified thumbs up also, if I didn't give it to her earlier. Okay, so now we're at the final song we're going to react to for today. And this song, like, is the reason why I wanted to do this video. Because it came out like a day... A, Three days ago, apparently, and this time it'd be nice to like uh, do a video on it. So the song is "Go," featuring Juice World. song. I pretty much liked pretty much every single song we've done a reaction to today. But this song, again, like the, his voice, the way the, the way his production sounds, is everything that came together. This was part of that was pretty cool, you know. It was a bit short. Maybe just, he just didn't have like enough time to finish out the verse, who knows. But like, I just feel like his verse like a bit short, but it was still cool though. What I know from Kim Lloyd is that like a uh, Juice World was like bit like a uh, a role model. His passing also like hurt him in a way, and then he decides like to drop this song, which is pretty cool. Like honestly, like it feels good to like just still hearing Juice World and stuff like that. I just hope like his label don't do him wrong or anything. That's just all I hope for. But anyways, that was pretty much it for my reaction on Kid Ro Ro the Roy. Now, how do I feel about him? Honestly, he he gets he's pretty good. Like he has a, a distinct voice. His vocals are nice. His his choice of production is good. His music videos are pretty interesting. He's a pretty he's a pretty young guy. I think I think he's even younger than me, if, which is you know kind of like young to like be blown up and stuff like that. But but like uh, time like different things come with different ages. So. And like people like attend like hailing him because oh like he's like oh he's an industry plant like that and stuff like that which honestly I don't really care if you're an industry plant or something like that. Is it, if it's good music, it's good music. Travis Scott if it hasn't called industry industry plant, but people still mess with him. Amine been called an industry industry plant, but people still mess with him. So we just can't like selectively hate. We can't just like have to hate so selectively. We either have to hate all of it or just hate or just hate none of it. So. Hope that made sense. But besides that, I do like, um, I do think his music is pretty cool. I feel like he does have potential in being like a pretty big artist. But I, I wonder how the sound will like translate to an album. Because some artists I've done videos in the past have like get done good singles wise. But for me, their albums haven't been right for me. Like, I don't know if it's be a sound I could get tired of for an album. 
or if it's like a sound that can like hold me for like a couple songs. So I would have to see like when he drops something. I'll definitely do a video on it. And overall, yeah, I say like I will definitely check into more of his music when more that comes out, even some of his older stuff. And he might be potential to be like an artist I look forward to in the next while. So certified so thumbs up on the Killer Roy. And yeah, that's pretty much the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Expect more of these videos on the way. I have some more ideas. And yeah, this is Trey Dynasty. I hope y'all have a great day. And thank you for watching.